the squash will just melt in their mouth. And the taste is, reminds them of old time Hello recipes. Hi everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, Chinese soup. And I call it short cooking soup. And I have a long cooking soup. So the short cooking soup only takes about one hour total. The long cooking soup takes about three hours, but that's with firmer vegetables. Today I'm using what is called a hairy squash because it has some hair fuzz on it. So all I did was I washed it and then that fuzz came out pretty quick. So you don't have to peel it, but there were some bad spots, so I cut them off. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, cut this in half. And the Chinese name is also mukwa. Yeah. So you just cut it in half and you see the seeds, not too many seeds in it. So I just cut them in half, like so, about oh, a third of an inch pieces, or half an inch pieces if you like. And then I'm just gonna put them in a bowl. Okay. And put this on the side. Okay, now I also have some pork that I'm gonna slice up. This is one pound of pork, but you don't have to have that much. This is lean, but you could use any kind of pork. I like to use belly pork, but I didn't have any, so I just had a lean piece of meat. So all I do is I slice it up again in slice, uh, quarter inch slices or so. And this is a very, everyday kind of soup. We used to have this kind of soup daily at home. Chinese drink a lot of soups, but in other video, I showed you how to make soup with different herbs, but this one is just gonna be plain, everyday kind of soup. So I have here the uh, pot and it's heated up. Always heat up your pot before you start cooking. And I put a little bit of oil. So I have the oil, it's already hot and sizzling. So now I'm gonna add the pork. You can use chicken or beef too if you like. So I just took a piece of ginger, no peeling, just smashed it up. And then I'm going to mix it up. Now I'm gonna add the squash. I'm just mixing the squash around a little bit. You don't have to really cook it, just get it in there. Now I have some water and I'm just gonna cover it. I have here two quarts. I'm adding the water and it's two quarts, but I don't think I'll use that much, but you just want it to kind of cover the food. And I also have here, this is a Lee Kam Ki premium bouillon powder flavored with chicken. And I use this a lot because it doesn't have any MSG. So I'm gonna put like a spoonful of it, give it more flavor. So I'm gonna add a little soy sauce and that's it. Very simple, you see, and this will cook after it boils for half an hour. And if you want more soup, you can add more water and you can add more broth powder if you like. So I'll cover this up. After it boils, I'll simmer it for half an hour and then we'll see you then. Okay, the soup is done, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna scoop some in the bowl. It smells really good. Okay, I'll put some squash in it. I'm taking the ginger out because you don't want to eat that, but it adds good flavor. And scooping out some meat and some squash. And this is really good for a soft diet or if you have somebody who's sick or elderly and they can't chew very well, the meat might be a little of a problem, but the squash will just melt 
in their mouth. And the taste is, reminds them of old time recipes. Now I'm gonna taste it. Okay. It's kinda hot, but it's okay. See how soft it is? I just, with a spoon, just break it up. And the skin is not hard at all. It's, it's kind of hot, so I'll just eat a little bit. Mm. Really good. Let's try the meat. The meat is pretty soft too, just kind of breaks apart, so. Um, no problems with chewing. And I mentioned some of the things you could uh, use, some cabbages, but I also forgot to mention watercress. This would be a very good soup too. Really good. You can make it. You see, in one hour, you can have, from start to finish, this wonderful quick cooking soup, Chinese soup. So, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like Comment button. Comment and subscribe, because it really helps my channel. Click the bell so that you can be notified whenever I make good recipes like this one. Mahalo, and thank you for watching. See you on the next video.